Today, I'm gonna to give you five reasons why PixInsight is not too difficult for beginners to learn. What's going on guys? I'm Daniel Zolero. I'm an astrophotographer and I wanna help you take your astrophotography to the next level. When it comes to astrophotography processing, there's a crap ton of software to choose from. Crap ton, what does that even mean? It's pretty common for many beginners to use freeware like Deep Sky Stacker when they are first learning how to stack their images. From there, I'd say probably Photoshop or Lightroom would be the next option for post-processing. But I hear a lot of astrophotographers saying things like PixInsight is the absolute best software out there, hands down, that you can use for both stacking and post-processing of your images. The best? software out there? I mean, how can you even really know if that's true? Because there's a ton of crap ton of software out there for astrophotography. And who has time to go through all of the softwares and try them out? I already spent enough time trying to image my targets in the night sky. I spend probably way too much try, probably way too much time, too much time. I, sp <laughs> I spend way too much time I spend way too much time trying to say this stupid sentence correctly. <laughs> I spend way too much time trying to process my images and get them just the way that I like them. And I spend way too much time complaining that the moon is too stinking bright. Seems like every time I get a clear night to image, I hate the stinking moon. So PixInsight, is it the best software out there for astrophotography? Who knows? But is it too difficult for beginners to learn? I say no. Reason number one, it's not any harder to learn PixInsight than it is to learn all of the other things that we have to learn in this hobby. I mean, when you consider the learning that goes into choosing the right gear and setting up that gear and getting the guiding going right, um, learning what settings to use for your camera, it's also not any more difficult to learn than other software. Take Photoshop, for instance. I, I see that question a lot. Is PixInsight more difficult to learn than Photoshop? And in the online forums, I will see a lot of people say, yes, PixInsight's more difficult to learn than Photoshop. Thing is, Photoshop is definitely more widely used, and a lot of people have dabbled with it in other forms of photography, so people are a bit more familiar with it. But when you consider a person who has never used either program Photoshop can be pretty intimidating too. So let's just take a quick look over here at all the processes in PixInsight. You look at all of these things, it looks like there's a ton, crap ton. of stuff to learn. And when you click on all these, um, there, there's a lot of options. For instance, uh, we can click dynamic background extraction and uh, all of these drop downs that you have, I mean, what, what settings are you supposed to use for that? And, and that does look intimidating. But let's let's jump over here to Photoshop for a moment and look at this. See all of these options over here on the left. There's a lot of things to choose from, processes and tools that you can use in Photoshop. Um, jump over to filters and just look at all of these different filters with all the different options that there are. I would say that Photoshop has just as much of a learning curve as PixInsight does. So if you think that Photoshop's somehow gonna be easier to learn than PixInsight, I don't think that's a reason why beginners should be scared of trying PixInsight out. Now, reason number two, and I think you're really gonna like this because I love it. It's one of the greatest features of PixInsight, the screen transfer function. The screen transfer function is like magic. So let's open it up over here and I can show you what it does. <clears throat> so it's this little thing right here and there's a lot of little options that you've got on it that you can move around. But there's this little tiny um, button here, the nuclear option called auto stretch. Now if I go over and open up one of my images here, let's see. Probably would have been helpful if I had plugged my hard drive in first <laughs> where all my files are. All right, so I've got M81 and M82. So here's the raw file. Here's the screen transfer function. And are you ready for the magic? Click the little nuclear button and bam, 
That's just awesome. You can't do that in Photoshop. That's easy. Now, obviously that's not a, a complete photo, a finished photo, but really as a beginner, if you're not looking for perfect pictures, even just do a few more things and within 10, 15 minutes, get a pretty decent photo with PixInsight. You see how easy PixInsight can be. Now, it gets difficult when you're trying to learn all those processes and learn how to manipulate that image into the best that it can be. When it comes to Photoshop, it's no different. Having to learn how to use all those tools and get different plugins and things like that, that takes time to learn too. So I don't think from a beginner standpoint, that PixInsight is any more difficult than Photoshop. And while we're at it, if you like the screen transfer button, then do me a favor and hit the like button on my video. It'd be doing me a big favor. Number three, a lot of the processes in PixInsight don't require a whole lot of input. And what I mean by that is, yes, there are some settings and things that you can tweak, but many of them work just fine without adjusting anything. And for that matter too, there's a lot of scripts that PixInsight uses that make a lot of these processes much easier to use. Reason number four, with PixInsight, you don't have to learn all of those processes in order to process an image. Um, you can learn just a handful. And I'm gonna make a video here soon showing the most essential processes that you need for processing an image in PixInsight. So be looking for that video in the future. Number five, the astrophotography community is a pretty tight-knit community. Yes, a lot of us have differences of opinions on software and equipment, but there's many of us that are on Facebook, that are on Cloudy Nights, right here on YouTube, that are more than happy to help you learn a software like PixInsight or any other software for that matter. So don't be afraid to try it out. You can go on PixInsight's website and they have a free 30-day trial if you do decide that you want to try it out for yourself. And I'll leave a link in the description for you. Let me know in the comments below, what software do you use for your astrophotography stacking and processing? Once again, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button for me. And until next time, clear skies.